UFC lightweight division bout. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Habib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly. And when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, He's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's easy to first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomedov! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Good punch, Lance. Couple of chins here being tested early. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just misses with a left hook there. 
And they separate. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh. Nice jab by Nermago Meta. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice punch land. Back and forth we go! Just over three minutes to go. Big kick lands. Got the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. He loaded up on that right hand, too. 36 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Straight punch lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand punch for Clinton. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Straight right, he misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, single collar tie now. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. Single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. And they separate. Oh man, hit to play. Oh, high level stuff here. Speed to catch the kick. Now counters with a takedown. And he landed the right hand there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nurmago Meta. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in, this could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. We're going to take this fight in a different direction. I want you to start... He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match that these two guys would evenly match. Let's see who really 
takes control as we go into the second round. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Real quick leg kick. Watch knees to the body. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nice one, two there. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well placed kick there by Nurmagomedov. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pick. Oh! Punch coming, it's blocked. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. And to land the left hand there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Marco Medov gets hit with a kick. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice punch land over the top. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice punch there by Nurmago Meta. Single collar tie now. Trying the flying knee there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick.
is starting to swell up a little bit. Needs some better defense. Okay, let's keep those pants high. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the queen round. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Big punch from the clinch. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Marty closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Beautiful body kick. Got the single collar tie. Leg kick checked effectively there by Nermago Meta. He can't even, he can barely stand. Oh, big elbow. Yet again, they will clinch here. Big kick. Hands high, hands high. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Nermago Medov's kick to the body is blocked. Just misses there with the left. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he... Oh! Single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Punch over the top. Well placed near the body. And now he's got that tie clinch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Leg kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. And there comes the separation now. Slips. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Right hook to the head block. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. Now. 
Blocks the shot to the body. Right on the button. Went for the inside leg kick. Lance is switching. Right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets underway. Ready? The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big call for punch land. Now we get back to range. A uh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big head kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. If your opponent has you in the clinch, Pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Try to establish that jab. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Collar tie now. And they separate. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Right hand punch the clinch. Big power shot there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, oh nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. What a tricky head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, beautiful hook by Nermago Medov. Got the single collar tie. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Stuff to take down, no problem. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Two minutes remain in the round. Nice loop with punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to point. You take a point. You take a point like with Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship with disrespecting a guy like that with that sweep. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Got the turn in that kick. Now connects with the right. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Nermago Medov. Right hand punch from the clinch. 
And they set it. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed a target. I mean, you insist, insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop playing Tom. Visibly limping here. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them. Seconds remain in the round. All right, single collar tie now. Good work blocking the knee. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Good stick. Nice leg kick. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. And they separate. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little That's bit. It. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They